Hello and welcome back to another edition of 100 Pound Photography. Today I'm in Feudley in lovely Worcestershire on the banks of the River Severn. Today I'm going to be walking around with the Nikon D200. Uh, I'm not going to tell you too much about the specs because I really just want to show you the quality that can come out of the, the camera, but I will put text along along with the photos to show you what the specs are for those of you that do want to or are a bit geeky with the specs. Okay, I'll catch up with you in a minute. That's the pictures I've taken on my little tour around Beaudley. I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Um, and if you are interested in this camera, then it does work retail for about 80 quid at the moment. Um, obviously, it's not the newest of cameras. Uh, it's a 2006, 7, this, sort of, this one came out. Um, the only issues I've really found with it is you can't quite trust the exposure reading inside the uh, viewfinder I've often found that even if you get it spot on according to that it is either plus or minus your exposure so if you are using it to take shut photos of things quickly if you do get this then you will need to learn where it's actually metering but like I say it's not a modern camera so the metering system is going to be a bit crude but on the whole, I actually really like it. It's a very good camera, uh, especially for its age. Um, I would like to try and get the D300, which is obviously the slightly newer version of this one. Um, and obviously that went over to a CMOS sensor on the CCD in this one. So I, I would like to give that a bit of a comparison. Um, it's quite comfortable in my hand, but as I've said before, I've got large hands, um, but it is weighty, especially with this lens on it, which isn't the most modern of lenses. But there we go, that's my review of it. Um, I like it. I'm quite happy with this one. I actually am going to keep this one. Um, and because of this camera, I have actually switched over from Pentax, my main system, over to Nikon. Um, I had the K3 beforehand. I've now Obviously, my main workhorse camera is now the Nikon D610 full frame. Like the Pentax, uh, Nikon have kept their F mount system, so you can pick up retro lenses for this as well, so you don't have to spend lots of money buying the latest lenses. See, if you do buy modern ones, this is a DX camera in the Nikon system, basically, that means that's their crop sensor cameras. Thank you very much for watching. Um, let me know what you think of this new format. Should I keep it? Should I go back to the old style? Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear what you have to say. Thank you very much for watching. I shall see you again soon.